Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python 2. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We are indeed on um, that episode. Yep, we're on that episode. And you want to know why I'm so happy right now, my friends? You want to know why I'm so happy and cheerful? A brand new pre-release has come out. Pre-release 6. Six pre-releases for a major update. That is absolutely bonkers, but they are still fixing bugs. And one of the biggest bugs they have fixed is this. I can now do this easily once again. Whee! Off we go. Ah, so good, my friend. So the poor TPS, that being ticks per second, is what was causing the server style lag in the recent few episodes in pre-release 5. That has indeed been fixed, so we've got the nice, smooth, smooth performance of single player once again. Now, one thing that was apparently fixed, but I can confirm it actually isn't, is on the bug tracker and on the website, they were saying that cartographer villagers were fixed. And the reason why that would have been a good thing is because we would have been able to go ahead and uh, explore a woodland mansion at long last in the series. But sadly, I have confirmed in a previous failed recording of this very episode that uh, cartographer villages are actually not fixed. They still don't sell woodland explorer maps and the ones that they do sell, in fact, just the general cartographer villages are just flat out broken. Like, especially when you go to open a map trade, um, they, they basically freeze in place for literally a minute and then the game catches up and then you can interact with them again. It's very, very strange. But to guys, today, we're going to be starting off by upgrading our gear. Now, as you can see, we've already got the mending leggings, which we got in a previous episode from the end. We've already got our mending boots. We've got mending elytra and and of course, we now have Mending Helmet here. Now, uh, we're going to be going ahead and uh, trying to uh, combine these two here. Sorry, I'm holding back a cough right now. But uh, yeah, we are going to put Mending on this. We're going to have ourselves a Mending Fortune Pickaxe at long last. We're going to have a Mending Silk Touch Pickaxe so long last and then of course we've got our mending uh, workhorse pickaxe you know just flat out we got that from the end just flat out which is kind of amazing so we're gonna have our proper trio of pickaxes my friends it's gonna be a bang in time it really really is alrighty guys and as the nether music stirs away we now have 20 levels which means we can actually go ahead and uh, get our helmet up to scratch so let's just go ahead and uh, grab the remaining bits of this there we go. All right. And uh, the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. So we need not that one. We need the end box. There we go. Anvil. Boof and boof. 20 levels will give us respiration 3, fire protection 4, and our aqua affinity, our breaking 3, and mending. That's probably the godliest helmet you can even get. Well, aside from thorns 3, but, you know, let's not go overboard. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this glowstone pile. What the heck? Alrighty, guys. Just getting the last few nuggets of XP. There we go. And that's all we need, ladies and gentlemen, to get ourselves our trio of epic pickaxes. So once again, let's get out our end box and let's get the anvil out and let's chuck this bad boy in. 423, efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, and then mending. Yeah, baby. Mate, we're looking good. We're make we're looking super good, actually. Wow, we got a lot of glowstone now. Got a bunch of magma blocks. Yeah, this uh, this place is starting to fill up quite nicely. Hey, not bad, not bad. All right, so how many uh, stacks can we get out of this? There we go. Three stacks of quartz blocks. Very nice. And then the rest of it, I'm going to save just in case I want to make myself. Uh, I don't know, maybe some. Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, what the devil are they called? Uh, daylight sensors, that's right. Yeah, you require quartz for that, so, yeah. All right, guys, so here we are back in the Ocean Monument. And today, my friends, to finish off, we're actually going to be going ahead and uh, working on the spawning area for the Guardians. Now, there's going to be a fair amount of maths involved with this, so you'll have to bear with me. Hopefully, I don't bore you guys a whole bunch. But basically, what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be taking some inspiration from a person called SZ Petty, who has a really, really easy guardian farm design which involves AFKing in the sky at around y equals 140. Now the reason we'd want that is because I don't really want to drain out the ocean around this ocean monument. What we're going to be doing is converting the entire inside of this into a massive massive spawning area for the guardians. We're going to have like a central killing area and then we're going to start making use of some of the brand new 1.13 mechanics in that we could transport the items we get from the dead guardians up upwards to an eventual room using soul sand to transport items upwards through water. 
That is right, my friends. We are finally going to be utilizing some of the brand new 1.13 mechanics. Oh, it's about that time, isn't it, my friends? So, uh, like I say, we definitely need to go ahead and uh, do some various bits of bobs. I think probably first and foremost is we should probably go ahead and relocate this portal way, way up at Y equals 140. Because, like I say, that's where we're AFKing. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe what we actually do, first of all, is uh, try to figure out just how much spawning space we want to allow. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is going to be... Like, I don't even know where to start, dude. Probably trying to find the center of this particular room. Like, like forget about this space here. Uh, we just try to find the center of here? Maybe? I don't really know. Like, ju just how much room do I want to allow these guys to spawn? I don't really know, dude. All right, well, uh, let's start way over here. And all we're going to do is we're going to count how many blocks it is way from his side to over this side. So, 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 this will be one, two, three, four, five marker. One, two, three, four, five marker. One, two, three, four, five marker. You know, there's, like I said, there's going to be a lot of counting involved. So, I'm not going to bore you guys with it. I'm just going to get on with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like working with numbers. I I'm a numbers person. I really, really am. So, yeah, this sort of stuff intrigues me. It does. It does. So, yeah, let's get on with it. We'll find the center and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So it's the next day of recording. I've been hard at work trying to get this Guardian farm going. I mean, we're nowhere near finished just yet. But as you can see, we now have sort of a central room here. And that is what SC Petty basically did in his farm. Now, of course, by having this sort of room here, we have ourselves quite a lot of gap. Like, between, like, behind here, right? So, we definitely need to do something with this particular area. I'm not going to do a storage room because I'm going to do a storage room at the AFK place, which is eventually going to be in the sky at Y140. So, I don't know. I mean, we could potentially try to make some more sporting area here, but I don't really actually know what I want to do for this. Like, trying to make, like, a bit of a water system going into the central room, I feel like it's going to be quite difficult. So, that's why I'm probably not going to do that. I don't know, though. I don't know. But uh, anyways, guys, all in all, we're making some decent progress, okay? So, SC Petty's design basically has, like, a whole bunch of floating water up top uh, held up by fence gates, right? So... Beneath the fence case is an actual water system going down to the central area, which, as you can see, I have finally sorted out. We've got ourselves a bit of a central hole here, so that's all looking good, my friends. It really, really is. So, uh, I think probably the next thing we need to do is uh, make this uh, make this water system, water flow, actually go down to the central area, right? So, probably the best idea would be to just start digging this out, uh, sort of this quadrant here. So, we leave this quadrant alone. We just sort of go back here and go up until we hit the water so something like that that seems to be the the way to go with this particular thing so let's go over this way let's do the exact same and then uh, hopefully we should be good to go we should be good to go i'm hoping so anyway because i have been spending a long long time with this my friends like even to the point where there hasn't been an episode for a couple days now because yeah i've been uh I've been busy. I've been a busy bee at work doing this thing my friend so i hope you guys are okay with that i apologize for the you know, the delay in the episodes, but sometimes it's just, it just is what it is, isn't it? It really, really is. Uh, right, let's get rid of you. There's a bit of, let's get rid of you, and then we can continue this along, and then we need to bring out this platform rather like this, and I'm hoping, of course, that the water flow is actually going to reach the center, because if not, we could be in a bit of bother here. Uh, right, so let's get you placed down like that. Okay, and then we just need to do the rest. Okay, no, wait, is there a guardian underneath? There's a guardian underneath, what the heck? What are you doing there, sir? I don't know. All right, uh, come on then. Let's continue on, though. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close, guys. Maybe we can get this quadrant done. We can do the rest of the quadrants off camera and then go from there. Right, so there we go. The water flow is definitely messed up, though. Ah. Right, uh, well, probably the easiest way of fixing that would be to place these in and then simply destroy them again. So, there we go. That's got them placed down. Let's start placing or destroying these blocks again. And we should get a slightly more uniform uh, flow. Yeah, that's perfect. Guys, that's absolutely perfect. 
It goes down to the centre here, and then the guardians will just hop down here. I mean, obviously, this is going to be the eventual, you know, killing chamber. And then all of the items, like I say, are going to go up to the area, which is like Y140 in the air. And then we can go from there and just get a bunch of cool stuff going. All right. Not bad, guys. Not bad. We are making some good progress here. So I think all I need to do now... Is, uh, is just, you know, replicate this across, across, oh my word, across the four quadrants. <laughs> wow, apparently I can't speak today. Well, to be honest with you guys, I can't speak most days, so that's a thing. Right, anyways, uh, so we just got to try and do this nice and symmetrically, so we get rid of this area in here. Okay, and then nice and symmetrical again. So, if I've done it correctly, we should wind up perfectly aligning with that, and we have a rate. Perfect. All right, guys, let's make some more progress, shall we? Alrighty, guys, so progress update. As you can see, the water flow is now completely finished. We now have this thing done. And basically, the next step at this point is to go ahead and put down a layer of trapdoors all like this. The reason being is because this is going to hold up the water which is going to be completely submerging the top half of this room. Now of course the more water we are able to put down the more spawning spaces there are for the guardians and therefore hopefully the more amount of rates we're gonna get. So yeah. Alright guys so I'll tell you something I never want to see a fence gate for as long as I live. That's a lot of fence gates, guys. That's a lot of fence gates. Yeah. Um. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, so going on, uh, SC Petty went ahead and he placed in like a bit of a, a trapdoor thing here. And basically all that serves as is a way for the Guardians to not get sort of stuck around here. They will actually go underneath and they will hop down into the center there. Now, talking of the center, I think logically speaking, the next thing we should do is probably the killing mechanism, or at the very least, you know, just digging the hole or getting the hole placed in uh, and doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, I should probably also place these things down. I should probably get this back out because I am in need of some sponges. That is right, my friends. We need some sponges. There we go. Let's get you done, and then let's get you all placed in, and away you go. All right, so what we do need to do is we need to grab ourselves out some water. The sponges are, of course, going to be needed, but, uh, you know, we can do a bunch of other stuff in the meantime. So let's grab ourselves out some sea lanterns and some various other things, like, um, I don't know, maybe just a couple stacks of each of the types of blocks we've got going on here. Uh, and, yeah, all we need to do is we need to go down and make ourselves the drop shoot. Right, so the drop shoot is going to be very, very simple. All we've got to do is go down into the center here. We've got to go underneath, if we can, that is. Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Hello. Hi. There's a multitude of guardians down here. Hello. <laughs> Look at these fools, man. Bunch of fools, man. Bunch of fools. All right, so uh, we've got to be kind of quick about this because if we're not quick, then these guys are going to absolutely murderize me. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these guys. That, can they actually spawn underneath? I'm pretty convinced that they can't. Maybe they spawned in here already in the water that we've got and they've already sort of filtered down. I can only assume that's what's happened. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to get out of here now. Uh, huh. Yeah, this is a bit problematic. Right, okay. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. There we go. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Go on. Out of here, son. All right, and let's go down this one. Get you placed in. All right, and then finally we've got this. Oh, my gosh, there's so many beams. What the heck, dude? Oh, my gosh. Right, okay, come on. Nice and careful. Nice and careful, buddy. Nice and careful. Oh, oh my gosh, this is not a good idea. Okay, and uh, yeah, this is this is a rather dangerous way of doing it, isn't it? Oh, good day to you, sir. How are you doing today, man? I am very glad to see you. Right, okay, and... Oh, no, 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 wrong block. Eh, eh, no. You will not come in here, sir. It will not happen. All right, and... All right, and there we go. And all we need to do now is just filter out all the water. And, yep, that is it. All right, well, uh, there we go. That's that one uh, in particular done. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. So we got ourselves... Oh, I just came to the realization. Oh, my gosh, I'm such a dummy. I don't even have a way of getting out. Um, Python, you numb nuts, why? Why you don't make a way out? Why have you not got firework rockets on you? I think I may have put them away at one point. Um, 
Yeah, in which case, that's a bit of a dumb thing for me to do. But anyways, uh, boop, there we go. So there's the drop shoot. All is looking well. Uh, there's no guardians in here, is there? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, we're looking good. All right, well then, uh, let's head over here. And uh, let's see what happens, I guess. I mean, I'm just trying to... Uh, there we go. All right, I don't think there's any more guys spawning in here at the moment. Probably because we're in here. There's a bat here. Please go away. I'm pretty sure you're taking up the mob cap. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, well, yeah. Everything's looking good, my friends. Everything's looking good. So I think... What do I think? We need to grab some lava, don't we? If we don't get lava, then we can't actually finish the killing mechanism, can we? So I'm going to need to have to replace the nether portal. I'm just going to go ahead and chuck it here temporarily, for example. Uh, and then from there, we can grab ourselves some lava and then go at our business from there, I guess. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to grab some lava. We're going to try and get the killing mechanism done. And then away we go from there. Alrighty guys, so I've been doing some fiddling around in a test world to try and get a bit of a... Wait, what? Hello? Oh, hello! We have a victim, ladies and gentlemen. Hi! How are you doing? Would you like to die? Yes, you would. This is my preliminary way of killing them, but, uh, you know, we've got other things to do. But anyways, guys, I've been, uh, I've been, you know, messing around on a test while trying to figure out a way to actually kill these guys. And uh, probably the easiest way of doing it would be to have four layers of lava. So they are on fire for a lengthy amount of time. Then they'll drop down below the lava and then they'll just, like, die from the fire, right? So that's the idea. That's what we're going for. So let's say we start the lava level... Uh, I'm going to say, like, maybe here? Or maybe here? I'm thinking here because then there's no chance of anything burning up there. So, uh, there'll be one, there's two, there's three, and then this one will be four, which means the next layer is going to have signs, which, of course, are going to hold up the lava. And then, of course, we need to go a little bit further below to get some other things going. So, there we go. And I think maybe one more just so the guardians can't just, like, jump back up into the lava and therefore destroy the drops. So, they come down, one, two, three, and then this final layer down here is is going to be where the bed of hoppers and our dispenser, which is going to dispense all the items onto an item transportation system. That's where this is going to go. So how's about, let's just get a torch in this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, but basically, we're going to have the uh, dispenser facing in whatever direction. I'm thinking, I don't know. Wait, hang on. I think I've lost my orientation real quick. <laughs> Up we go. Okay, no. okay, and we nearly die. Okay, right. So that's going to be the front. Uh, should we have a go out the back? I mean, I don't see a reason why not. We can have a go, but we'll go out the back. Well, we can make it go anywhere, really. I don't think there's really too much of an issue with it going wherever the heck we want, really. So we can come down here, and yeah, this is currently facing out the back. So that's going to go all over in that direction. So that's all good. Uh, but in the meantime, we need to try and make all of these hoppers face into the dispenser, right? So let's have you going in there, and then we'll have one... There, and then one there. Right, and then literally anything I chuck in here should wind up, uh, you know, coming into this dispenser. Right, so let's give it a go with the firework rocket. So we've got one here. Yep, that's gone in. What about this one? Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Yep, there's two. Okay, there's three, and... There's four. Hey, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so uh, basically what we need to do now is we need to make a bit of a redstone clock, which is going to continuously spit out the items from this place, going onto the item transportation system up to the FK area, and therefore got ourselves a good place to be. All right, so uh, I guess in the meantime, and we could like just temporarily patch this up. We definitely need to go ahead and, you know, actually do the thing with it. But uh, for now, I think it would be a cooler idea if we actually uh, placed down the lava and got to work. So, yeah, this might be a bit of a pain, though, admittedly, because somehow I need to do this without going into the outside water. Um, I mean, <laughs> this might be a bit more difficult than I first thought, although maybe not. I don't really know. All we can do is hope for the best. Right, so, uh, let's go down this one. And we need to land on that block down there. Oh, jeez, man. Okay, looking good. I'm really hoping that signs don't burn. I can't remember is the honest answer. Uh, so, we need to go up a block. I don't think it matters if the lava is flowing either. So, we'll have one layer here. Is that still going to work? I mean, broadly speaking, it's kind of working, but I think the top layer definitely needs to be, you know, kind of uh, a bit more 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uniform, I guess. So, let's have you going on like that. Yeah, you see though? It's not quite doing it, is it? Okay, and then this layer now is going to be the final one. I think we're going to need ourselves another lava bucket though to go in this corner here. But... Uh, yeah, okay, so we definitely need ourselves another lava bucket. That's that's perfectly fine now. I'm not too not too fussed about that. Let's go grab it, and then, uh, yeah, I guess it'll be a real-world test to see how this thing works, if it does. Alrighty, guys, so the lava is in place. This should just about do it, really. I mean, all we got to do now is just sort of wait to see if anybody goes down there, and if they do, then I guess we have ourselves a proper test on our hands, guys. So, yeah, all we got to do is wait. And see if anybody falls down and dies and such. And then we'll check the dispenser. Uh, we need to make like a bit of a maintenance shaft going down there. Because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain trying to get down there. But uh, yeah. Anyways guys, uh, let's wait for a guardian to spawn. And uh, hopefully he'll fall down and get killed. Alright guys, check it out. We've got some guardians in here. Oh, I'm getting a little bit hurt by them though. Ah, uh, Can you like go down into the thing please? I don't want to be zapped. Please, sir. Go on, down you go. Down you go. Down you go. Go on. Oh, off he goes. All right, and now we just listen. Hey! I think we did it, guys. Four layers of lava did it. You heard him getting killed there. That weird squeaking sound is when a guardian dies. So, yeah, we've done it. All right, the killing chamber is in place. So what that means is in the next episode, we need to go ahead and do the item transportation system. We also need to go ahead and get all of the remaining water uh, to fill up the entirety of the top section of this room. And then, yeah, actually get on with the AFK platform as well. Blimey, O'Reilly, we've done a lot this episode. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. We've got the common question of the video here coming from Ethan G, who says you should make an end ship in the overworld. That's a really cool idea, actually. So going on from my original idea of, like, having an end-related biome, like a custom biome in the overworld, I think that'd be a really cool idea to also incorporate some of the features you get in the end as well. So whether that be, like, a little mini end city or a little replica end city and, like, a, a floating boat as well, that'd be a really, really cool idea. So, uh, yeah. Nice one, man. Nice one. That's that's definitely a really, really good one. But guys, thank you very much for watching. That is indeed going to wrap it up for today. I apologize for this episode going out late, but like I say, this has been a very, very long one for me, my friends. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do be sure to drop a like rating if you have. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. But that's going to wrap it up for now. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.